we are seeing an all-time high of laziness. Everybody wants the product of success and salvation, but nobody wants to go through the process. Let's talk about it. Closer to God Ministries. Welcome back to another Righteous Spirit Food episode. Today, I hope to help you get closer to the truth, closer to the kingdom, and closer to the will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We got to give him all the glory, all the praise, all the honor because he is truly deserving of it. Man, after watching this video, I can almost guarantee you that if you like acknowledging truth, that you will see things a little bit different. Think about how entitled kids have become today because of the products of success that parents have given them, but the kids have not had to make any sacrifice. Think about when the government gave out all this free money and then people were walking off this job and saying, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna continue working hard and sacrificing when I can go get an easy handout. You see what I'm saying? Think about all of the people who think that they're going to be a millionaire within the next 30 days. Just because we see the product in this very technological age of what people have been able to do and you have people, you know, you can look at YouTube, how to become a millionaire and you can find, you know, thousands of videos where people are taking anywhere from five to 10 minutes and telling you how to become a millionaire. But one thing our carnal minds does not understand, even though somebody can sum up how they gain their salvation, how they gain their success in a matter of 10 minutes, this does not mean that you can replicate it in the same time frame because you didn't go through the sacrifices, you didn't go through the process. And we live in a day and age where people love the product. You know, I wanna get with this person when they're successful, but I don't wanna stick with them while they're going through the process, while they're going through the ups and downs, while they're going through the valley and the shadow of darkness while they're going through the valleys of life. You see what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to do that. You know, I want to I want to be a millionaire, but I want to do it the easy way. You see what I'm saying? I want to be able to uh, be able to provide for my family, but I want to do it the easy way. When you look at, you know, people forever trying to find a lazy way to sacrifice less in order to devote less of their obedience to the kingdom or whatever you know in relations that this applies to this is where there is no shortcut for hard work and sacrifice you can truly see the people who have sacrificed in their life whether it be for their own good or for the kingdom and oftentimes we we tie success with you know with views with popularity all of this different stuff but the telltale sign is obedience, sacrifice, and faithfulness. You see what I'm saying? Have you gone through the process of what God has told you to do? You see what I'm saying? We have people out here that are, you know, claiming that there's multiple ways to get to God. There's multiple ways to salvation and all of this nonsense. But the basic process was already good. There's no need to fail by trying to be lazy in the process of what God has told us to do and then still fail at the end and not have his salvation. Because this is the this is the fact of the matter for many people. You know, people will think that they're gonna get to God, you know, by going through Buddha, by going through all of these other different names. But it says, you know, everybody that wants to gain access to the kingdom, to the Father, you gotta go through Jesus. Now in every country, that has a different translation, a different name, but the premise of it is still the same. People are forever trying to find shortcuts in life, make a, you know, somebody's lifetime work of work, you know, try to, you know, make somebody's lifetime body of work, you know, look like it was done in a matter of year. And social media, a lot of technologically 
and a lot of technological advancements are, you know, to fault for this because we look at it and we see, oh man, this person is successful and it took them 10 minutes to record this. So therefore I'm going to be able to replicate it. You think about how many people are at home collecting these government checks, collecting unemployment, collecting welfare, collecting food stamps, collecting all these benefits and sitting on their hind part talking about, I want to be millionaires. I want to be the next Elon Musk. I want to be this and I want to be that. Where is the sacrifice? When you think about many are called, but few are chosen. The reason this is because everybody was not willing to sacrifice. You weren't sacrificed to be ridiculed. You didn't sacrifice to be ridiculed behind standing up and taking up your cross on a daily basis. When you were in your workplace, you know, you just, you played it safe. You didn't sacrifice for the kingdom. You didn't mention my name, mention my works when you had the opportunity to, but everybody loves success. Everybody loves the product of success. But when we start talking about, okay, success, salvation is going to take some hard work. It's going to take some dedication. It's going to take some perseverance. It's going to take some endurance. This is when people start heading for the hills. This is when the lazy people show themselves. Yeah, I didn't come here to do that. I came here to get all the free cake, the free donuts, all the candy. I came here for the giveaway, but I didn't come here to, you know, give up some hard work, give up some sacrifice. I didn't come here to be obedient, to submit to nobody, to show some discipline. See, people don't want to hear that, man. People don't want to hear that. And when it comes to being a father, and when I think about it, man, I had to pull back from giving my kids all of this and all of that because I was doing nothing more than enabling their laziness, just like the government is doing. Now it's so easy to get all of these different benefits and you think about all these jobs, all these places that are struggling to find hard work, hard workers, but people just want the easy payday. And then they wonder why, when they're gonna be in their 40s and 50s, they're not gonna have anything to show for it. They haven't sacrificed in this lifetime for their own good and they haven't sacrificed in this lifetime to have salvation in the end. You see what I'm saying? You know, my kids, I bless them, but by no means are they gonna be walking around with iPhone 13s and I got 11s. When did we get to such a lost, a lost people that we started doing things like this? You see what I'm saying? You have people out here where their kids are driving nicer cars than the parents that are working 40, 60, 70 hours a week. And then, you know, you have the nerve to think that you are a bad parent because you can't give your kid better than what you had, but you gave your kid what you were able to work and provide for yourself. You see what I'm saying? Everybody wants the product, but don't nobody want the doggone process. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting it gun barrel straight.